please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Muswobi. We can see that we're all on the same page regarding the future of this school and where we want it to be. The role of the government council will be almost uh, invisible. Still, their impact is undoubtedly felt in the direction that the school is headed. Their position is very strategic. One of their core duties is overseeing and ensuring accountability on the part of the school's direct administrators. It is definitely not a position that uh, won't take and then uh, goes to sleep. This is a special call for duty and service. And if we're looking at the uh, caliber of uh, people on this board, uh, I'm convinced that you're up to the task. Uh, it wasn't uh, a mistake that two of the uh, members today, uh, Professor Omali and uh, 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 Mr. Adyoshi, you know, uh, both the chairman and the secretary of the um, team that assisted the United States government to get the laptop back. Signed the deal on LabTech, I started getting calls, you know, uh, people wanting to be on the board and all of that. But I gave uh, the initial committee a mandate, a single mandate, really, that please just go out there and get us a divorce. There's nothing else. I knew myself when I gave them the work that uh, it was going to be tough, especially when there's no halfway uh, uh, point for them. But they came back and delivered 100% on that mandate. So I'm giving you another mandate today, and I'm sure you still deliver 100%. And what is the specific mandate we're giving you? We want you to take the necessary measures and pursue vigorously all strategies and tactics that will make Lautech a world-class university. That's the mandate. So what you're getting is an opportunity to shape this school for future generations. Well, we no longer have the excuse to say uh, one state or the other is holding back the school's progress. So I, can, I, uh, I encourage you to get the job done. And I'm sure you will get the job done. You can be assured of the continuous support of the state government in this uh, regard. Let it be that the next news we will hear in future is that because of the work you did, Lautech has broken into the list of the top 10 universities in the world. 
I challenge you to key into this uh, vision. We're not talking about the top 10 <coughs> excuse me, in Nigeria. You should already know that we want you to take us from now uh, the last check were number 13. So first, you need to take us from number 13 to number 1. And when I said top 10, uh, not in Nigeria, in the world, so I know that uh, uh, it's uh, a big task. But that is why your mandate is to make Lautech into a world-class institution. So the benchmark is not even Nigeria. The benchmark is uh, looking at uh, uh, the universities uh, around the world. And the arrested government is ready to work with you to make that happen. Uh, but just before I end this remark, let me use this opportunity to talk about the uh, lingering, uh, uh, well, not just only the polytechnic uh, is, is strike by uh, the call higher institutions in uh, Ohio State. Though most of the uh, other uh, tertiary institutions, they backed off and uh, it remained only the polytechnic uh, uh, burden. The students were the uh, secretariat the other day to make their businesses uh, known. I will listen to them. But I must make this very clear. We will not have gotten into this situation if those schools, governing council, did their jobs transparently and honestly. What were the issues they were talking about? Oh, we don't want. Uh, uh, platinum, we don't want uh, consultants, you know. Uh, but we have to resort to hiring consultants because of the uh, opacity of their transactions. Yes, when we just came in, they, they, they uh, uh, visited with me and they asked, uh, uh, of course, uh, the day before the previous administration left, they moved their subvention, first was 25%, they moved to 50%, and then to 100%. And we said we will take it on, because uh, education is one of the major pillars uh, 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 for this uh, administration. But I said to them that if we are moving on with 100% subvention, You should also uh, be open with your IDR. And we watched the situation for several months. We didn't uh, uh, hear uh, uh, anything about the IDR. So we uh, hired uh, the consultant. We also know that they are willing to. Uh, accept that the whole order of things uh, is gone. But it is gone. Well, we will be making a decision about the next uh, steps uh, this month. Why, uh, yes, I believe uh, 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 anyone protesting uh, has the right to do so. But it must be done with the future of the students of 
uh, those uh, institutions in mind. Because time is money. If you keep wasting, uh, uh, they keep wasting their time. Uh, courses that they are supposed to uh, uh, finish in uh, two years because they are spending a lot of time, uh, uh, you know, uh, protesting and disrupting uh, academic activities. They will uh, bear the brunt. We are we, we, here uh, to work together uh, to resolve this uh, problem. So we, we should be. Uh, making a decision uh, within uh, this month. Let me reassure the students and all well many stakeholders that whatever decision we take will be in the interest of uh, progress. And they also need to know that sometimes we need to make sacrifices so that future generations may benefit. Well, in the case of Lautech, as we inaugurate this governing council, we can rightly say that the first phase of, <clears throat> of acquiring this school and setting things up for success has ended in place. Uh, I have a friend, I have a new job, so this first phase, just open. And uh, I've been receiving messages from uh, uh, Solomon, uh, uh, who is the, uh, uh, the rep of the, uh, the alumni uh, uh, rep. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, encouraging, I must say that. So even if I don't uh, respond to you, still know that uh, I read those uh, uh, messages. So the next phase of rebuilding, which is uh, what uh, this uh, government council is supposed to do, uh, and in my private discussion with uh, uh, Professor Omale, we both agreed that uh, what you are going out there to do is a surgical operation. If we have to remove leaves, we will remove leaves. If we have to uh, cut things open, we will cut things open. But I also know that that next phase will also end in praise. So let me finally restate that we have confidence in you. Even the statutory uh, 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 members, It's going to be 16 of you uh, uh, in the first instance. So we have five here, and then you have uh, 11 statutory members. We have confidence in yourself being able to provide leadership to bring everybody together to move uh, uh, the school towards its uh, mandate. We know you can take lab tech to the point we want it to be. And we look forward to hearing the next big news. And by the grace of God, that news will be that Oguma Shows number one has become Nigeria's best. So on this note, I hereby pronounce the Governing Council of Lado Kiakintola University of Technology of Bogotá inaugurated. Thank you. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Who's who?